Hey guys, uh, come to this video we uh, talk about the convection. We've already seen um, convection here as a, a method for transfer of heat uh, in a solid. Uh, the first video we also discussed the concept of uh, transfer of heat. Uh, let's see convection. Uh, the concept of convection of heat. This uh, convection, this is the transfer of heat energy through the fluids. Uh, specifically uh, liquids uh, and gases whereby there is an actual movement of particles. Uh, this means that if the water particles move uh, the face of cold particles and cold particles gain the heat from the uh, heated particles. Now the heated particles move upwards due to the decrease in uh, decrease uh, in their density and the cooler ones uh, move downwards to get heated. Now these movements create uh, the convectional currents. Now the convectional currents are the currents of the liquid that move from the bottom to the top of the liquid container uh, when the liquid is heated. So as you can see, there's a illustration there uh, where there is a movement of convectional currents uh, moving from the bottom to the top uh, of the liquid container uh, since there is uh, application of heat. Now the heated liquid expands and becomes lesser denser, and so can float upwards and be replaced by the uh, colder denser liquids that it sinks. You see the examples of convection in everyday life. So simply these are the applications of convection as a method of heat transfer in our daily life. The first one is the is applied in the breeze. We've already seen that there are two types of breeze, the land and the sea breeze. Now, all these occur as due to the concept of convection, whereby the heat transfer uh, occurs in the fluids. The second one is applicable in boiling water, uh, since the cooler particles are switched by the warmer particles. So these that movement of the convectional currents. The third one is that uh, in various situations, in the warm blooded mammals, we've seen that uh, the blood circulation system, uh, it depends on the, on the movement of these, uh, uh, the particles that are in the blood from one place or organ to another organ compared to the amount of of heat on them and the concentration of the particles. Uh, the other application of convection is in air conditioner, whereby there is the, uh, the application of movement of this convection currency uh, between the cooler and the water particles. Other application or example of convection is in a convection oven, where convection is Ovens uses the application of the convection currency as the means of heating uh, things. The other application is the radiators, uh, refrigerators. Also, they use the same uh, concept of convection. And the, in the hot air balloons, also uses the concept of uh, convection currency, whereby there is a heat transfer uh, among the particles in it the hot air balloon. So it's clear. Let's move on to the methods to reduce convection losses. Now, as long as there's transfer of heat, there can be some losses of heat. Now, the following are just a few of the methods on how we can reduce the losses that are accompanied by the convection as the means of transfer of heat. The first one is you can use the a uh, selective surface that is designed to reduce the temperature difference among the uh, two, two particles or surfaces. The other one is assuming a uniform receiver or temperature that will enable uh, no, no changes of the, the heat among the surfaces so that there can't be any losses to other direction. And the last one that is assuming uniform heat flux in the heat transfer fluid. So all these three are just some of the methods. So now you can reduce convection losses. So that's all for this video. We've seen uh, convection as a 
other method of transfer of heat. Uh, in our next video, we'll see uh, the radiation as the other method of heat transfer in matter. Thank you.